This is what we call the Romeo and Juliet balcony. This Mediterranean-style home has 25-foot ceilings with hand-painted murals. She spent about six months up in these domes, hand-painting all. It's a home built with unique qualities. We can cook a turkey in this top stove in about six hours. And then she made the dragon up top also. And that's all handmade. The mansion even has an underground tunnel that leads to a separate guest house. It's 80 feet long and there's a catwalk above it. The home is 18,000 square feet and is only 12 feet away from the riverbank overlooking the North Saskatchewan River. You no longer can build this close to the riverbanks. You've got to be 80 meters back from the top of bank, back when anybody does a subdivision. So with these lots being grandfathered in, you could build these estate homes right on the river bank. The local developer spent the last eight years designing and building it himself. I just wanted to end my career the same way I started. I want to leave a legacy behind. Uh, it's a very unique uh, estate and a very unique location. I don't think you ever find another one like this in Edmonton. It's listed for $7.5 million. There's one other home for sale in Edmonton for more, but it sits on 10 acres. The number of homes in Edmonton that have sold for a million dollars or more has steadily increased over the last 10 years. In 2006, there were 20 and last year, 121 sold. These days, a million dollars is not that extravagant for a purchase price for a home. It's still a lot of money, don't get me wrong. As for whether this legacy house is going to sell... You only need one buyer, bottom line. And there's still a lot of people with dollars. You know, um, there's wealthy people around, without a doubt. If the house doesn't sell, Don McCarger may rent it for events like weddings. If I can have people enjoy this estate and cover my costs of investment, uh, I would be open to that. Kim Smith, CTV News.